homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, this is why we have four freezers instead of just one or two big freezers. Okay, this morning Crystal and I came down and discovered that our meat freezer, our primary meat freezer, we've got meat in several, in all four freezers, but our primary meat freezer was completely thawed. We haven't been in, in it in 10, maybe two weeks. So I don't know how long it's been thawed. There's still some ice in it, but I w you can't trust anything there. So let's have a look, see what I'm talking about. Right here, that's the freezer down in there. We've emptied it out, but it was completely defrosted. The light was still on, so the freezer appeared to be running, but it was completely defrosted. I've got to wait. There's some ice down in there. I'll wait, and then I'll vacuum all that water out and get this freezer out of our basement. But there's our bags. One, two, three, four, five, six garbage bags full of meat. So that's the way it goes. That's why we have four freezers instead of two or one. Instead of six garbage bags worth of meat, there'd have been 12 or 13. As it is, this is probably two or three hundred dollars worth of meat. And uh, it's not just meat, there's some vegetables in there. So let's, let's say it's about two hundred dollars worth of stuff plus the freezer. But now that freezer is only, I think, we bought it in 2015. So it's only seven years old. And this is the model. It's an Idealis. So that's where we're at. Okay, let's get this stuff up out of the basement and uh, Get on to the next thing. This wasn't what I planned to do this morning, but that's what happens with homesteading. One catastrophe to the next. Okay.